Welcome to Deep Thought. We're living 24 hours now. You know what? I was watching this uh, show on Netflix, right? I was watching this show on Netflix. I was really just checking it out because my son had checked it out. And uh, uh, despite him being a teenager now, there's still some shows. If he if he checks it out, we'll check it out too and decide whether or not it's really appropriate for him and whatnot, right? And this, we had decided this particular show wasn't appropriate. It was like, eh, give him another year on it, right? But it was a, it was a cartoon show. I think it was called uh, F for Family, right? And a lot of cursing and uh, definite sexual in the win- innuendo on there, right? And But it was set in 1973. And the episode I watched, it had it dealt with a TV and, you know, the main character, you know, just some sh- uh, schmo. He he had got the new TV, so he was just excited. So he was watching it and stuff, right? And I remember at one point it had that thing that used to come on when the TV's back in the day. Like I say, about 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, you hear some stuff about like some poem from some Air Force pilot about touching the face of God. And then you hear the Star Spangled Banner and then all of a sudden you had snow, right? You had snow like the TV went off at a certain time and then, you know, you just had a dead period between two and six. Right. And I contrast that to what we have now. It's, you know, because it's now the TV's on all, all the time, but it's bigger. It's bigger than just talking about the TV. Is is way is way way bigger. You think about it, right? Used to be not that many people. There wasn't that many night owls. It used to didn't be that. Even um, you didn't have like twenty four hour whatever. <laughs> you didn't have twenty four hour news service. You know, you didn't have like some like twenty four hour movies and. TV shows, like catching something three in the morning, right? Even now, I've noticed, like, well, you know, when I was still working a job, regular job, you know, I had to show up real early. The last one I was on, I had to show up real early, be standing there at six o'clock and be there with, like, some young folks, like 19, 20 and stuff, right? And they were... It cracked me up that these young people had people texting them before six in the morning. And you have some people up like that. Or even uh, even when I do this, some of these videos. Now, people think I'm actually up. I'm, I'm asleep. I, I, I upload my stuff a few days before they go up. But there's always plenty of people up. And I was thinking about that. I was like, man, we're just, it's like, do we really sleep? I mean, there's a lot of people working at night. You know, I mean, you still get, you got a lot of 24-hour places. I remember a 24-hour place was rare. You might have had a 7-Eleven or something, but maybe a 24-hour restaurant was rare. It was extremely rare. Now you can go in some of these places and somebody's always there. It's, you know, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, evolution or whatever. Or maybe, maybe you know what? Since this is a deep thought channel, I dabble into some conspiracy every now and then. Maybe a group of night owls got together. (laughs) Like, I mean, you actually have some people who are biologically more suited to night. Like, my mother is like that. My mother is a real night owl. It's like she will sleep like a log during the day. Like, she's in a nursing home now, and uh, one of her caretakers was like, you know, I think we need to change her medicine. She's always up during it. She sleeps during the day and wants to be up at night. And I was like, man, that's normal. Seriously, she, that, you know, and you just had some people with some rhythm like that. I think a bunch of night owl types just got together and said, hold up, we, we got to change this. <laughs> you know, they start saying, all right, hold up, let's let's create some jobs at night or, you know, let's 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 do some mechanizations so we can get you know have some tv to watch you know so we ain't you know got to play cards or something at four in the morning when we want to be up doing something (laughs) 
you I mean you really got to uh it makes you really think. It makes you really think. I mean, we really are 24 hours now. And it's deep. And like I said, I don't I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't know. Maybe some night owls can come on here and answer me. You know, maybe it's just evolution recognizing that everybody don't have the same sleep rhythms or something. Right? I don't know. But, you know, or, you know, could be a thing of somebody got smart and said, hey, you know what? We can... We can fill their info, we can fill their heads with useless information 24 hours a day now. We can entertain. We can make more money. Why have that dead space? <laughs> somebody, that, somebody probably said that too. Somebody probably said that back in the day. Said, hold up, hold up. You got four hours. We could be showing people something, advertising. Because even when I remember when they first started uh, really uh, expanding the hours. And you got, yeah, I mean, it was in a, it was kind of entertaining in a way. If you happen to be up or something, or, you know, with Rom coming in from the club or coming in from the go-go for those from D.C., and you just happen to turn on the TV, and you'd be like, wow. So they got this machine out now that can pull energy out of the sky and stuff and rejuvenate me. That's where you saw a lot of that stuff. <laughs> You know, or a psychic hotline or something, or um, shoot, something, or the precursors to public access TV. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like just we're just living in a 24 hour world now. Just information, information, information. And like I said, I don't know if it's good because, well, one thing, one thing, whether you're a night owl or just a regular schmo and stuff, we do, I think. Our bodies do need to shut itself down. Like, one thing I do at night, if someone calls me, if there's an emergency like midnight or one in the morning, I'm not going to find out till later because I turn off all phones. I turn off every, every, like, phone in the place. I don't hang around for that because I'm like, look, I'm trying to rest. All right. And that, that's the, one of the biggest things. I think people need to definitely need to take some time out and rest. You know, turn off the phone, turn off the information you're receiving. Because one thing about the information, one thing with these TV shows is still subliminal programming. It really is. It's still subliminal programming because, well, that's why they call it program. I've talked about this before. So you're still getting advertisements to tell you to buy. You know, you still get the music, the music, you know, like in these TV shows that get you to do a certain thing, right? That's why when I think when they first started it, it was mainly like the advertising. It was mainly like the infomercials and everything. That's when you like really see them, right? And so somebody said, hey, why? <laughs> That's four hours of time we could be selling some stuff, right? Or you know, if, for those who keep up with the news stations and stuff, that's 24 hours, right? And most news is propaganda anyway. So it's like, hey, we got more time to, like, spew out some propaganda. I don't know. I don't know. I would say this. Yeah, we're living in a 24-hour world now, and it is what it is. But like I said earlier, one of the main things people still got to do is get some rest. You know, turn off, turn off the TV. Turn off your phones. Try to get as quiet as possible. Pray you don't have like any neighbors who, you know, didn't get that memo. And just sit back and relax. Sit back and relax. Because I will say, I will say that once again, I'm going to reiterate this. You still need to like tune out. You know, meditate during, meditate during your off time. Sleep. Try not to think about everything. Turn that phone off. You know, you don't you don't need to like see somebody's weird picture at like, you know, two fifteen in the morning. You know, now you know some of y'all fellas might need to see that big old booty or something, but yeah. So anyway, right? Just think about what I'm saying. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.